Hey everyone, here to talk about a new update for my app Basenac, which has a couple new features I think y'all will find pretty cool. So these are the different string options. So let's go ahead and choose four string and sharps for the note display preference. So the first new feature is the ability to add custom tunings. So say you want to create a tuning that's a half step above standard, then you click this create a custom tuning button and you select the notes for that, which are F. A sharp, D sharp, and G sharp. And let's go with F standard for the tuning name. And let's click that create button. And you can go ahead and delete custom tunings if you want, but we're gonna go ahead and select that new custom tuning we created. And these are the open notes we just chose. And uh, for the frets, it works just like any of the other pre existing tunings. Let's go ahead and clear out those notes and change our tuning back to standard for the demonstration of this next feature. So this next feature is audio-visual mappings of keys and scales across the fretboard. So say you have a bass line with like E, C, A, B. Let's go ahead and select those notes like so. Then if you go ahead and click this Find Keys button, then it'll display all the key choices that work with those notes, split into major keys and minor keys. And when you select one, it'll close that window and then highlight all the frets of the notes of that key uh, with the roots highlighted in green and all the other scale notes highlighted in blue. So as you can see, in addition to Mapping out the frets, it also plays the lowest octave of the scale. And you can also go ahead and change that octave, and it'll scroll up to the new fret position. And in this case, there's multiple positions where you could play this octave. So if you click that right arrow right there, it shows you a position from the next string, and here's the highest octave. So in addition to keys, you could also map out other scales and modes. Let's say we click this Find Scales and Modes button and we choose diatonic, which basically means any scale that exists within like the regular major and minor scale of Western music. And we choose E Phrygian. Let's bump it up an octave. Let's try some non-diatonic scales, which basically mean scales that are more common in Eastern music, some Western, like the blues scale. Well, let's try E harmonic minor. And bump that one up an octave, like we did. So yeah, that's a rundown of the new features in this update. You can check it out on iPhone, iPad, Mac OS, Windows, Android, and now Android Studio. Hope you all enjoyed and catch you in the next one.